Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. How often have you found yourself in the midst of a routine, going about your daily tasks, when suddenly, something unexpected happens? Perhaps it's a moment of kindness from a stranger, an opportunity that seems to come out of nowhere, or even a sudden realization that shifts your perspective on a situation you've been struggling with. Have you ever wondered if these unexpected moments are more than just coincidence? Could it be that these are gifts from God, waiting for you to open the door and receive them? Today, we're going to explore how we can open the door to God's unexpected gifts in our lives. But before we dive in, let me ask you, how often do you take time to notice the little things in your day? Do you find yourself caught up in the rush of life, missing the subtle blessings that God places before you? Or do you take time to pause and reflect, allowing God's presence to reveal itself in the most surprising ways? Let's begin by looking at a common scenario, one that many of us can relate to. The unexpected gift in the ordinary. Imagine this. It's a typical Monday morning. The alarm goes off, and you're already feeling the weight of the day ahead. There's a long to-do list waiting for you. Emails that need replies, and meetings that seem endless. You barely have time to grab a quick breakfast before you're out the door, rushing to make it to work on time. On your way to work, the traffic is worse than usual. You're stuck in a sea of cars, inching forward, your patience wearing thin. You start to feel the stress build, and you can feel your heart racing. You glance at the clock, realizing that you're going to be late. The frustration sets in, and you wonder how you're going to get through the day. But then, something happens. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice a small bird perched on a tree branch, singing its heart out. For a moment, the noise of the traffic fades away, and you're captivated by the simple beauty of this creature. The bird's song is a gentle reminder that there is still peace and joy to be found, even in the midst of chaos. As you continue on your way, you find yourself feeling a little lighter, a little more at ease. You arrive at work, and despite the challenges that the day brings, you're able to handle them with a sense of calm that you didn't have before. That brief moment with the bird, that unexpected gift from God, has set the tone for your day in a way you never could have anticipated. Opening the door to God's gifts. Now, you might be wondering, how do we open ourselves up to receiving these unexpected gifts from God? How do we make sure that we don't miss the blessings He is trying to give us in our everyday lives? First and foremost, it requires a shift in perspective. We need to move from a mindset of busyness and distraction to one of mindfulness and awareness. This doesn't mean that we abandon our responsibilities or ignore the demands of our day-to-day -day lives. Rather, it means that we make a conscious effort to slow down, to be present, and to be open to the ways in which God might be speaking to us through the ordinary moments of our day. One way to cultivate this mindset is through prayer. Begin each day by asking God to open your eyes and your heart to His presence in your life. Ask Him to help you see the gifts He has placed before you, and to give you the grace to receive them with gratitude. This simple act of inviting God into your day can make all the difference. Another key aspect of opening the door to God's unexpected gifts is to embrace a spirit of trust and surrender. Often, we get so caught up in trying to control our lives, to plan out every detail, that we leave little room for God to surprise us. But when we surrender our plans to Him, when we trust that His ways are higher than our ways, we open ourselves up to the possibility of receiving gifts that we never could have imagined. This doesn't mean that life will always go smoothly, or that we won't face challenges. But it does mean that even in the midst of difficulties, we can trust that God is working behind the scenes, preparing blessings for us that we might not see coming. A personal example of God's unexpected gift. Let me share with you a personal story, one that I hope will resonate with you and illustrate this point further. A few years ago, I was going through a particularly difficult season in my life. I was feeling overwhelmed with work, struggling with some personal issues, and to be honest, my faith was feeling a bit dry. I was going through the motions, but I wasn't really connecting with God in the way that I wanted to. One day, I decided to take a walk to clear my head. It was a crisp autumn afternoon, and as I walked, I found myself praying, asking God to give me some sort of sign that He was still with me, that He hadn't forgotten about me. As I walked, I noticed a small path that I hadn't seen before. It seemed to lead into a wooded area, and something in me felt drawn to it. I decided to follow the path, 
not really knowing where it would lead. After walking for a few minutes, I came to a clearing. There, in the middle of the clearing, was an old, weathered bench. I sat down, feeling the coolness of the wood beneath me, and took a deep breath. The air was fresh, the leaves were rustling in the breeze, and for the first time in a long time, I felt a sense of peace wash over me. As I sat there, I felt God's presence in a way that I hadn't felt in a long time. It was as if he was saying, I'm here. I've been here all along. You just needed to slow down and find me. That moment, that unexpected gift from God, was exactly what I needed. It didn't solve all of my problems, but it gave me the strength and the reassurance to keep going, to trust that God was with me, even in the midst of my struggles. Embracing God's gifts in our daily lives. So, how can we apply this to our own lives? How can we make sure that we're not missing out on the gifts that God is trying to give us each day? One practical step is to incorporate moments of stillness into your day. Whether it's taking a few minutes in the morning to sit in silence, pausing during your lunch break to breathe and reflect, or taking a walk in nature, these moments of stillness can create space for God to speak to your heart. Another important step is to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. When we make a habit of giving thanks for the small blessings in our lives, we become more attuned to the ways in which God is working. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we don't have to what we do have, and it opens our hearts to receive even more of God's blessings. Finally, don't be afraid to ask God for what you need. Sometimes, we hesitate to ask God for help because we think our problems are too small, or we don't want to bother Him. But the truth is, God cares about every detail of our lives, and He wants to bless us. So, bring your needs and your desires to Him in prayer, and trust that He will provide in ways that are better than anything you could have imagined. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts. We thank you for the many ways in which you bless us, even when we don't always see it. Help us to open our eyes and our hearts to your presence in our daily lives. Give us the grace to slow down, to be still, and to recognize the gifts that you place before us. We surrender our plans and our desires to you, trusting that you know what is best for us. Help us to receive your unexpected gifts with gratitude and joy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. As you go about your day, I encourage you to keep your heart open to the ways in which God might be trying to bless you. Remember, His gifts don't always come in the ways we expect, but they are always exactly what we need. Take time to slow down, to be still, and to listen for His voice. And when you receive one of His unexpected gifts, no matter how small, give thanks and share it with others. If this prayer resonated with you, I invite you to comment, Amen below. Let's encourage one another to stay open to the ways in which God is working in our lives and to trust that His plans for us are good. May God bless you abundantly and may you always find joy in His presence.